Hello, my name is Nicole, and I just want to take this opportunity to introduce you to my new book, Know Your Enemy, The Christian's Critic by Nicole McGuire. And this book is the kind of book that I definitely want Christians to take a look at because some of you all are out here on the Internet and you are sharing the gospel. You're talking to people about your faith. And then along comes someone to say something ridiculous or someone to find fault with you when there really is no reason to find fault with you. You're just sharing the gospel. But isn't that what happens? Anytime you deliver news that convicts people, that causes people to change their ways, encourages people or does things that they're just quite not ready to receive, that's when you get all of the backlash, the negativity, the smart comments, the ridiculous statements and on and on. And so what this book does for the Christian is it defines exactly what type of criticism that we're dealing with the type of criticism that goes against our faith. Not the kind to build us up, but the kind that tears us apart. Or for some Christians, it actually makes them not even want to continue with this walk. And then there are those that would have been Christians, but because of relatives, family, friends, people around them, saying all sorts of negative things about the church and about Christianity and other things, spiritual they decide you know what I don't think so I thought it was a good idea at first but now I'm not interested so first and foremost you have to know that this book is definitely not talking about the constructive critic who's trying to build you up but we're talking about that negative critic the one that works for the enemy now we've got to know the type of people who's criticizing us and sometimes people are real sneaky or real deceptive with their ways of so-called building you up. And they'll even go so far as to say, I'm just helping. I'm just assisting. But are they really? Anytime someone is constantly talking to you about why you should or shouldn't do something and why this isn't right and that's not right. And you know that all you're doing is trying to serve the Lord. You have to wonder, is this person really friend or foe? In the book, I get into that Christian's profile, whether it's the Christian that is a backslider or the one who used to be a Christian but isn't anymore. The, that would be the apostate. I talk about even those unsaved individuals who pretend as if they are friends and things of that sort. And then I get into those people that's closest to us and how they tend to. Uh, say things that right away you've got to say this person's definitely not walking with the Lord and why do I keep listening to them I also answer the question why why do people criticize whether it be a Christian a backslider apostate an unsaved person what's the point what's the point in tearing somebody else down who's trying to do something good and I give you some insight in a chapter called study your enemy and then I share with you those wicked strategies, the types of things that the enemy does and how he uses people to manipulate situations to try to get what they want by using critical statements and negative opinions and things of that sort. And I also talk about when that enemy attacks and how you can be able to prepare yourself because that's just what they are anytime someone is just getting you to that place where you're often upset and you know you have to keep telling yourself I'm just trying to help I'm just trying to help and they keep at at you about being quiet and I'm not ready and don't talk to me you you've got to be prepared you've got to be ready for uh, this person when they start attacking you and your faith and what you're doing and I get into how these people criticize through the chapter dealing with wicked strategies and then of course what's a book without uh, some of the the people places things and uh, just the circumstances that will bring about such behavior okay because you've got to do something. I mean, as much as we tend to, you know, say, oh, I'm innocent. You've got to do something for people to get to that place. 
So you want to be prepared. Some people have their way of being very negative, uh, using the same atmosphere, using the same types of tools. So I do call your attention to some things that you may have not paid attention to when talking to critics. And then I also talk about some of the things that they criticize uh, when it comes to Christians. So this book is not meant to be some, ex, you know, exhausting uh, study that makes you go, oh, my goodness, let me, you know, grab my thesaurus. Let me grab my dictionary. Uh, let me check in with a psychologist on some of this, these terms. This book is definitely an easy read and you should have no problem being able to take the information, use it in whatever situation you may be in with a critic and then of course teaching someone how to deal with criticism who's often ready to just go off the deep end when people say things to them so there are solutions to dealing with critics they are in the book and you will find that there's a number of experienced educated individuals who are quoted in the book and hopefully you can be able to use that information to uh, further you in your spiritual walk so please do get know your enemy the christian's critic and thank you so much for listening